proverb. A short popular saying, usually unknown and of ancient origin, that expresses effectively some commonplace truth or usual thought. Idiom. An expression whose meaning is not predictable, but from the usual meanings of its constituent elements. Okay, so idioms and proverbs, you know, they're not, they don't really seem all that much different from each other. Is that how we're coming into this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> how do you think we were going to come into this? I don't know. I didn't think. Hello I'd... and welcome to our podcast. No, not that. Uh, so they're, they're, these things are actually kind of funny. And sometimes I wonder what Knuckle had thought them up, you know, because, okay, for example, I got a couple of them for you. The one that gets me more than anything is, and we talked about this the other day, is naked as a jaybird. Jail, so, jaybird or jailbird? Jaybird. That's a jailbird. Oh, is it jailbird? That's the that's the saying. Is it I jail, would think so. I would think so. I don't never. I heard it was naked as a jaybird. Continue. So, but if that's the case, though, if there's any truth to any of these things, is that they try to say there's some element of truth to them, that would mean you have kind of like a featherless fowl. You have a bird that can't fly. It's a it's a flightless fowl, right? I mean, that's weird. Naked as a jaybird. So I've never actually seen a jaybird, so I'm, I don't really know what they look like. Or maybe I've seen one, but I didn't know it. But I've never seen a featherless bird. So I just thought that was a strange one. You got one? Uh, um, I'll let you do one more because I'm, I'm trying to decide which one I want to open with. This is not on this list. This list is actually T.E. Breitenbach from 1980. He did an illustration of all the idioms, and he calls it proverb idioms. And he did an illustration. It's a relatively popular painting back from 1980. So we got this list from that, and then we're reading from it. So that's where these are coming from. But some of these, for example, get this one. An empty bag cannot stand upright. What if it's a paper bag? It stands upright every time. If you open up a paper bag all the way, it'll stand up by know itself. What, where they, who thought that was a good one? But how about banana nose? Have you ever heard the term banana nose? That's, that makes perfect sense. It means you have a no, big nose. No, if you've got a banana nose, you've got problems. No, it means you have a big nose. Yeah, but why? But, but I mean, a banana shape? I mean, you've got a hell of a schnoz going on. I mean, it's that a big be, nose. And it would be very unappealing. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, be, how about this one? <laughs> Beware of the door with too many keys. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> how, about, how about cauliflower ears? Who thought of that one? <coughs> or how about this one? This one is kind of odd. Call no man happy till he's dead? <laughs> you know? God, that's a very uh, pessimistic way of looking at it. What? You still uh, working on, that, <laughs> on the banana joke there? So, uh, how about children should be seen and not heard? That's kind of rude. I mean, there's still people. <laughs> Chip on one shoulder. <laughs> Marcus is, Mar he's got it. He's tickled. I got he's, the giggles. He's got the giggles. Um, <laughs> Christmas comes but once a year. Duh. Yeah, no shit. I mean, isn't that cap that's, their, that's your Captain Obvious for you right there. Uh, a couple more. A cracked bell can never sound. That's not, that's bullshit. It a cracked makes, bell will still make a sound. Yeah, I mean, it may not be as perfect, but it will certainly cry one's eyes out. <laughs> How the so, hell would you do that? That's dangerous. Don't even recommend that to somebody. <laughs> uh, dead men tell no lies. No. Another duh. <laughs> uh, where did Dear John Lair come from? I don't know. John, obviously. I think the military, <laughs> on a serious note, I think that's a military thing, but I don't know. Oh, well, well. or, or doesn't have a leg to stand on. Oh, that's just cruel. <laughs> that's a legless person for crying. That's cruel. Don't, don't talk bad about people with no legs. Um, and down in the dumps, where, what's dumps got to do with it? You know well, if I mean? you're in a dump, then you're down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, eat your heart out. Who thought of that one? Now, I know it's to be jealous or to be envious or whatever. I don't even know. Eat your heart out. I don't know what that means. I've it never... means to be jealous or envious or something like that. So it, 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 But, you know, when they say eat your heart out, that kind of means be jealous of what I'm doing or what I've got or whatever. And I just think it's the goofiest damn thing ever. And then finally, 
What the hell is Cloud Nine? Why Nine? Yeah, I've never understood that. I don't understand that. Cloud one. Nine. There's nothing else. Oh, frog in the throat. Was that like when you sound like a? First oh, thing in the when you have, kind of yeah, deal? yeah. Is that what that is? What about when you leave one's mark? What's your mark? Leave no, one. No, it's one. It's somebody else's mark. Oh no! Did you steal their mark? Where did you leave it? One is the person. Leave one's mark. Well, I'm using it as second person there. And I'm not using it as first person, but leave Let's one's Let's call mark. a spade a spade. Well, what else would you call it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, a heart. Diamond. I don't know. This is crazy. T.E. Breitenbach. We put all these together in 1980. Some mm. of them are pretty good. Hole in the wall. Life is a two-way street. I mean, if it was a one-way... Well, actually, I don't know why that's a... Now I'm second-guessing my choice. If life was a one-way street then you're just going one way it means you can't go back I don't know why I, I don't know okay that's pretty... egg in the face lightning never strikes in the same place twice says who, who. yeah and who confirmed that right. how do how do we know that how do we know <laughs> lightning <laughs> has never struck in the same place twice has it struck <laughs> in the place and then we were able to mark that and then somebody either stood there for the next hundred years to or see, put you know, a camera there remember. for the next hundred years to see I don't that no don't believe no it. one person lives long enough to figure that out <sighs> like father like son actually that makes I hope sense. not I know just run away son run away uh, anything else on this hedges have eyes what I've never even heard that one before that means that the bushes are watching you. <laughs> Man who is his own doctor has a fool for a patient. <laughs> that's a good one. Well, that's that sort of I could, a double meaning. Almost. That means that you're He's not the idiot. That obviously. means you're not smart enough to be your own doctor. But right. Well, what if you are? A, but what if you are a doctor? Yeah, sort of self-diagnosis. Yeah, I have a pulse. I'm fine. All right. Anything else? Queer is a $3 bill. That's old. That You can't say that today. That is so politically incorrect, which makes it even more. But what is, oh, you know what queer is a $3 bill means? No. It's weird because $3 bills don't exist. Well, de back in the day, queer was not a, a gay reference. It was an oddball reference. It's well, then that's strange. The, okay, right. Then, so then that makes sense because yeah, a $3 yeah, yeah. bill doesn't exist. It's strange. But now it means you're faggots. <laughs> How about, I got three more and then, and then we can wrap, uh, wrap my list up. This is not really an idiom. I heard this back in the early 80s, I think for the very first time, and I've never forgotten it, so it's funny. When somebody said, you are unique, just like everyone else. <laughs> I think that's funny. Uh, the other one, I don't even, what, that. You don't get it? I get it. But That's it's not funny. funny. It is because it's yeah, it's, it's contradicting. Yeah, yeah, it's I, completely contradictory. That to me is what makes it funny. On the up and up. What's what's the up and up mean? It means you're on We all know what it means, but who thought of it as being a saying referencing being on the up and up? That's, yeah. And then finally I'm I, Something's my, rotten in Denmark. <laughs> well, that's Denmark's problem. So Hmm. You know what my last one is? Wear many hats. At one time? Uh, I mean, you could be all stacked up. I don't like it. I don't like that one. No. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I call bullshit. That no, is not, not true. true because you can, you can have, if you're doing the whole rubbing the sticks, you get smoke before yeah, you get fire. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where there's smoke, there may be fire. <laughs> Marcus qualifies it. There's not. Just because there's smoke does not mean there's fire. I do nope, nope, nope. No, I'm with you there. How about this one? This is my last one. Under the weather? <laughs> Marcus is not last one. Not Marcus's last one. Under the weather. Yeah, I know what it means, but what... Oh, I know you again, know what it means, but... But again, how does that have anything to do with illness? What's weather got to do with illness? I don't know. Self-made man. I beg to differ. I think his parents would have a problem with that. 
But how about my the kitten caboodle? It's my one of my favorites. What the hell's a caboodle? What is a caboodle? A kit, you could argue, is a package of something that you could create with. I get all that business. What the heck's a caboodle? What do you feed a caboodle? What do you do with a caboodle? What if your caboodle is off one's rocker? That go back goes back to that one's business, doesn't it? One's rocker. Who's rocker? It's one's. <laughs> Our next door neighbor, one. Yeah, it's his rocker. So, well, those are some fun little idioms. There's a million of them, obviously, but shot I, in the arm. Well, Marcus still has some. Shot in the arm. I think yeah. that's just kind of. Well, what does that it's mean? Supposed you to be got a show. good thing, but doesn't sound like it. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be a good thing. Was the definition of idiom the one that is do, does not necessarily have the the definition of what the words actually say? Is that what you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where a proverb is more of a folklore saying kind of a stag thing. party. That's not a good thing. You don't want a stag party. No, I wouldn't think that would be boring. Stay in one shell. Now there's ones again. Yeah, there's a lot of ones. who's. I don't know who's. Why are you staying in one shell? Get your own. Stay damn your shell. own. Yeah, stay yeah. in your own shell. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Anyway, well, that's it. I'm done, man. That was fun. We've been talking about doing idiom things for a long time because you bring them up all. My the time. heart has wings. Are you not done yet? My heart has wings. I've never heard that one. That's kind of stupid too, isn't it? it means you get around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what it means. I don't know either. What's that? What? Oh. Introduce that to us. That's cool. We just the got the H four in Pro. Pro. The zoom. They can't see it very well. But it's right here. This is cool. Dual condenser microphones for stereo outputs good for both indoor and outdoor applications. Really, really, really cool. It basically, what that will do is basically provide uh, this quality of sound in the field. Right, right, where you get... You can you can get this quality of sound right. basically anywhere. You can connect it to the top of your camera if you want to do an interview. It's It's got a lot of applications, but it ultimately is providing studio uh, quality audio while you're out in the world instead of lugging these big things around well right i mean you it's not practical to bring these out but are you recording one right now are you are you recording with this yeah that's recording right now so if you wanted to like for say switch Three, from this audio two one does that sound any better? That's testing, testing, is, one, two, three, what, testing. Yeah, that's what that was. So sound that's what like. this would sound like right, right. now, because I'll, I'll edit all this out. Which we're not we're not experts though on the levels of this, so this right. may not sound. Right. It'll sound it'll sound good, good but, but distant, it, I think. Or it might sound too loud. It might be the uh, these these microphones we have down to a T. Yeah, these are. It, it's sophisticated enough, and it's got plenty of uh, the meters, and it's very delicate. It's very sensitive, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get the the levels right, we'll particularly go, in the field. I think in here it'd be easier. Right, but we'll go back to these mics now. So oh, okay. So back <laughs> on back. the yeah on the normal mics. Yeah. So is there a big difference? Can you tell a difference? There's going to be a difference. Do you think? Yeah, because we're not. If we were speaking directly into that, that's different. But having it in between us, it's not going to sound as good as these. Now, if I were to take this off the tripod and bring it to my mouth, and it would sound, it would sound just, just as good. Or very close. Yeah. But the difference is though, is you actually have two microphones. And by the way, you have two different settings. You can go. You can rotate it from 90 degrees to 120, which effectively does this. So it, it, it broadens the range. The problem we ran into there, though, is it, it makes it hypersensitive. And so anything disruptive will probably cause it uh, to sound terrible. Stubborn as a mule? That makes perfect sense to me. Why? Is, who says a mule is stubborn? I don't know. Do people say mules? Well, they're, aren't they like bullheaded? They're not bulls. They're bullheaded. But that's like definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. No, it's not the definition of insanity. Some knucklehead 20 years ago came up with that and it stuck. So I looked it up. The definition of his insanity is a pretty significant mental disorder. So 
It's not that you know what I think doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is stupid and stubborn. It's a combination of not being able to learn that you're not doing it right and you're too stubborn to do it a different way. I do that all the time, so I must be completely nuts. Sky is falling. Yeah. Sky's the limit. Well, it's completely contrary. If it's falling and you got a lot of limitations, you better hurry. <laughs> all right, let's let's wrap it up. The limitations are oh. What we got to do next? What's next on the on the on the our efforts here? You want to go out to do Renfest next week? You got Renfest next week. That's the next video. I don't know about the next uh we want to get a couple of cheap at cheap drones, cheap, <laughs> cheap drones, and then you can cuss on the. I've said bullshit. Oh, I've said. Oh gosh, and, and I've said bitch. Well, that's not nice. Well, is we're going to elevate them as high as we can until the things just can't fly anymore. And we're going to take our unique uh, Q five hundred and we're going to record it as it goes up until it decides it can't go up anymore. And then it'll just fall out of the it'll sky. It'll just fall out of the sky. We want to see that. Uh, we want to record that from multiple camera angles. We think that'd be kind of fun to watch. The destruction of a 3995 drone. That'll that'll be, that's not next. No, that's next year. That's, that's, it, that's the beginning of 2018. Yeah, yeah. The next video is Renfest. I don't know what to expect with Renfest. Don't know. I've we been there may be get, seven years. We may be getting some press passes we may be elevating ourselves to a level that we are we not are complete amateurs rather than just rank amateurs right we may be getting passes Promotion. for people who work for things like channel 2 and 13 and 11 i doubt totally that that'll happen i completely doubt it but it, i think it'll i think if you were able to get some kind of credential like that i think people leave you alone more i think you know you won't get bothered as much i think there's a good chance you'll get bothered more I think there's a good well bothered more in a good way, not, yeah, yeah, not, yeah. not. I think there's a good likelihood we'll get him. He seemed pretty relaxed on Talk the phone. Talk to the marketing dude there. So anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, we don't need to mention his name. Yeah, we don't need to. He's the marketing guy there. Yeah, we we can't name drop. Yeah, we're not. not I don't have a name. ding. To, I know, right? I if I was gonna name drop, I could drop I'd have, your I could drop your mic out though when we edit. No, it, the so. ding, the, the if when you name drop people, oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, oh, that, that's not ours either. Well, thank you, T E Breitenbach, Bach Breitenbach, B R E I T E B E B A C H Breitenbach, some dude out of Altamont, New York, for for the list. So that's it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao. Checking out. Done. Yeah, I think we're done. There's an idiom for for something when you leave. Depart, bail out. As the no. Oh, as you got to do one that's. Oh yeah, you're right. I don't know. <laughs> kill the cameras. Kill, kill the audio. All right, I'm 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 gonna go wrap it up. You want to kill this thing? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah. You'll have to cut that off in some weird way. I have already got multiple ideas. All right. Well, that's yeah. Because there's no. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Well, because I kept bringing videos back. Hey, please subscribe. No, wait. Let me do it again. Hey. We meant to do this in the video, but please subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers before the year 2023. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We forgot to mention this in the video a little bit earlier, but please subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers before the year...